Hello folks, it's K9 and today I am at one of my favorite locations in the world, the Javelin Wreck site on Daymar. So let's go exploring. As you can see, this is a large patch of land that's filled with wreckage of this ship. And this is one of the oldest known wreck sites in the game and I think this is the biggest out of them all because it's the freaking Javelin. Also, there is low behind this site and I will explain that a bit later in the video. First, I will show you how this used to look. This is the oldest gameplay footage I could find in my computer, so I'll be using this. And fun fact, this is the same exact Titan I am flying at the moment and I do love that ship very much. And as you can see, it's pretty different from the rig site we have at the moment. As a fan of exploration, I used to come here all the time back in the day. Now not so much, I usually come here like few patches at a time and see if they change anything or add some features or whatnot. And if you want to find this site yourself, I did a dedicated video on that and I will link that in the description. If you like exploration and want to see more of this content, consider subscribing. Okay, back to the current times. So, as you can see, it's clearly different from how it used to be a long time ago. But now it's very detailed and intricate. At the moment, the site is barren. There isn't much going on. But I would really like to see this place get settled. You know, to bring out some activity, right? Like, could be some illegal salvages running through the ship, like stripping out what's left behind or could be like a great hideout for a group of bandits or nine tails even but my personal favorite would be like a small village that is integrated with the actual wreck similar to like whistler script where people can come in and land take up few jobs or like have a small bar where people can come and eat or have a drink spend the night here things like that or do a bit of trading you know also, this place could be the only source of like a decoration, you know, like a souvenir from the ship or something like that. But hey, I would buy a t-shirt where it says, I have been to the crash site at Daymar, anything like that, that requires you to actually visit the site, that would be cool. Okay, to give you a brief history of this site, this ship was called UEES Felisa and it was a Javelin class destroyer. According to the official reports, this thing got into an accident over Daybar, then crashed. I think it was back in 2862. And at the time, it was under the command of Captain Shin Ormiston. It was dispatched to put an end to the illegal mining operations in the moon. Sort of like claim jumpers, you know. And as the story goes, this thing was chasing a mining ship that exploded out of nowhere. Probably because of like a mechanical malfunction. 
and it was carrying a ton of explosive ores kind of like quantanium and that amplified the explosion and unfortunately the felisa was in the blast radius which triggered internal fires and explosions and that led to the crashing and it finally ended up here where we stand and all 65 crewmen died they say this was one of the worst naval crashes in the 29th century and i think this is something new i don't think i saw this the last time i was here And if you look close enough, there are tons of small easter eggs like this all over the place. Probably a serial number to something. As you can see it's pretty large, you can explore this place for hours and hours. Okay, now let's go down and see how the bridge looks like. And also here you can see some serial numbers and whatnot. And also here some numbering. And most of the components already seems to be gutted. I wish we could like go further inside the ship and see what's there. This bulkhead is inoperable at the moment. And I think that is it for this side so far. Hopefully this would get another update and it would be more lively. And that's it for this video folks. If you guys looking for Og check out texas space navy link is in the description and i'll see you guys in the next video till then you guys stay safe and have a good day